Hey, thanks for joining us in today's episode of Spotlight on Waco. Today we're here at Coach's Smoke downtown here in the heart of Waco. Come on in and let's check it out. Hi, we are Brian Ashley Bundy of Bentwood Realty. We are local real estate agents and we love Waco. Spotlight on Waco is our way to highlight fun and unique places to eat, shop, and play in our community. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Spotlight on Waco. Well, hey, today we're here with uh, Clint, who is the owner here at Coach's Smoke in downtown. Hey, thanks so much for having us out. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Love having you. Yeah, well, we were just talking about different barbecue joints and restaurants and stuff. And to me, I would say Coach's Smoke isn't your traditional go up to the counter and get a slab of meat and some coleslaw. Y'all have got a wide variety of options on your menu. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what makes Coach's different? Yeah, we... Uh... We wanted to make the menu to where it's not just your average bar, uh, barbecue place. So it's actually a sports bar that caters to pretty much everyone that wants to come in. We got chicken wings. We go through a lot of chicken wings. We've got specials every day from nachos to tacos to burgers and sandwiches. Um, it's pretty much everything you want. And if you want traditional barbecue as well, uh, we've got that. And we go through a lot of it. Yeah. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah. And you were saying too that you guys do a lot of catering uh, for corporate events and things here downtown. We've got a huge, and... a huge catering crowd. Um, we go through probably uh, ten or ten to twelve caterings a week. Um, Baylor being one of the big, busiest ones, we do the Baylor football, uh, Baylor sports nutrition. Uh, anytime if they have an event or something that, that they need food for, they'll give us a call and we'll have it out there. It's it's all fun and good. Yeah. We go through a lot of it. Oh, that's great. And we're up here kind of in your upstairs above the bar area. Um, do you rent out this space or other spaces for parties, events, corporate events, anything like that? Absolutely. Um, this room up here, we do, um, like I said, a lot of uh, corporate meetings, birthday parties, that type of thing. Um, I don't normally charge people for it. If they call me and it's open, then I'll give it to them. Um, I can do a buffet. That's a great bonus. That's awesome. Yeah, I can do a buffet for them up here. Uh, that way, they have a set menu in case they, you know, they have a set limit on how much they want to spend or whatever. Um, we can pretty much cater to anything that they need. Yeah. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And so y'all do have a full bar downstairs too, too, correct? Absolutely, and full so bar. We can run it upstairs as, as well. Um, our margaritas are by far our number one seller. Oh, cool. That and all of our draft beers. Like we got eight different drip beers on draft. So uh, it stays busy down there. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So what's kind of the two things, if someone hadn't been in here before, the two things that you would recommend that are going to be different that you wouldn't get any, anywhere else? Uh, oh, wow. Number one is our wings. Bone-in wings are, are traditional wings. Uh, we'll use our signature rub on there, uh, smoke them and then uh, quick chill them and then fry them up to order. All of our sauces are homemade. We go through about close to 400 pounds a week now oh of goodness. chicken wings. Yeah. So that, I'd have to say that's probably our best seller right now. Uh, our regular buffalo wings, we'll take the chicken tenders, never frozen, hand slice them, uh, hand breaded, and uh, cook them up to order. So we go through a lot of those as well. Yeah. Uh, nachos our second biggest seller and of course our meat plates are right up there yeah today's friday so we'll have the five dollar fridays uh big macs are huge uh we will go through a lot of hamburgers today that is a unique sandwich i would say it's one of my favorites in town <laughs> where the big mac is not your traditional big mac it's you got your Texas toast, is that correct? Yep. With some homemade mac and cheese and then brisket on it. So oh, it's yeah. kind of a barbecue flair to a sandwich. It's oh, awesome. Oh, it, it is by far one of everyone's favorite that tries it. Yeah. Um, it will give you a great nap. I will put you down. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> it, it'll put you down for a little bit. Yeah. But it is so good. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I love the fact that uh, you come here and you can get a salad if you're looking for something lighter. You can get brisket tacos. You can still get your traditional barbecue, like you said, a two meat, three meat plate. All right. Uh, but yeah, y'all have something really cool going on here. So. Yeah, absolutely. And look, look for us next week as well. We'll have the salad bar. We're thinking about doing a potato bar out there, so you can load up your potatoes with pretty much anything you want: sausage, brisket, pulled pork, chicken, 
and then all the fun stuff oh, that cool. goes along with it. So that'd be a regular item on your menu or like a certain so It'll be a buffet that we have for like your professionals that live downtown or okay. that work downtown. Obviously a lot of lawyers and, and uh, you know, uh, law enforcement and that type of uh, profession have a certain amount of time. Yeah. For lunch, they can come in, grab their plate, and get out. So that'd be a lunch so, special buffet. Absolutely. That's cool. So we're, we're gonna have fun with it. Yeah. Hope, hopefully give a little bit of something for anybody that comes in to yeah. have something for them. So. Well, that's awesome. So what's the best way for people to stay in touch with you? Is it social media, your website? What's the best way for people to follow? We're very, very active on uh, social media, Facebook especially. Um, every day we post something fun about our specials. Yeah. Fun. Well, thanks so much, Clint, for having us out. Thank you. It's been a joy. Thanks Appreciate so much. Appreciate it. Yep. Hey, thanks again for joining us on today's episode of Spotlight on Waco. I want to say thanks again to Clint and his team here at Coaches Smoke in downtown Waco for having us out. As always, if you're a restaurant owner or local business and would like to be featured in one of our future videos, send us a message and we'd love to visit with you. Thanks so much and have a great day.